Hello and welcome to the Video Automation Blueprint course. Uh, so really happy to bring this to you. Uh, this is a full course um, about YouTube uh, automation. It's about creating and making money with faceless YouTube videos. So my name is Kunjal Kanabar and I'm the founder of the Online Business School. And at the Online Business School, we teach people how to start and grow profitable online businesses. But in this video, I'm really thrilled to share this complete course on YouTube automation for you. And it's going to be free. Uh, it's not just one video. It's a series of videos. So this is a full course. Um, it's a step by step system to making money on YouTube without showing your face. Um, and, you know, I looked online and um, there wasn't anything in depth about this, um, even though I do this. I was looking at the tutorials then it, it was like they were very thin. Uh, they didn't actually reveal anything. It's just tips and things that didn't actually go through the entire process. So I just wanted to break that uh, and create a full course uh, for everyone who wants to do this. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're excited about that, if you're looking forward to that, then just make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. Just hit the subscribe button. Um, Kunjal Kanabar, just hit the, the red subscribe button there because then you can get this full course. You can get updates to this course because, you know, things change. I'm going to add videos to it. I'm going to update videos and you're going to get other courses that I create as well. Um, so just hit that subscribe button because you're going to get so much value from my channel. So this course is designed to be step by step. So I'm creating multiple videos uh, for this course and it's going to be in one playlist. Um, I, I was once um, trying to set up a, a web design software and there was this um, there was this video that got so many views. I thought it's going to be good. It was a five hour long tutorial. And I couldn't even scroll through the video. It was so difficult to even find what I wanted. And then if I wanted to refer back, it was hard to find where I wanted to go. It was so difficult. So I thought I'm not going to do that. I'm not just going to create one video. I'm going to create a whole series of them. So they're going to be broken down into step by step modules. I create online courses anyway. Um, so I know exactly you know what works and what, how people digest information. So this is going to be really easily digestible for you and you can take it step by step in order. Uh, and this is going to ensure a ton of clarity and your ease of understanding. So if you're excited, you're ready to go, uh, just grab your favorite drink, grab a notebook, uh, notebook, open your notepad on your computer or anything you prefer for note taking. And let's get started. So what is YouTube automation? So YouTube, YouTube automation is quite recent. It's, it's only been in the last few years. It's starting to become a thing. So you might hear of it as faceless YouTube videos or cash cow videos. That is YouTube automation. So basically, it's quite an innovative business model um, and it revolves around creating a YouTube channel without having to put yourself out there and show your face at all. So you can be the, the person in the background here um, and still profit the way a YouTuber would profit. So loads of people, in fact, probably millions of people online, they just really want to tap into YouTube's potential. Everyone's on YouTube all the time from all ages, all backgrounds. Everyone's on YouTube. I think second, yeah, second biggest search engine in the world. Um, it's absolutely massive. And the amount of views you can get and money you can make, make is, is a lot. Um, but then you don't want to necessarily be in the spotlight. So not everyone is a Mr. Beast. Not everyone is a makeup influencer or a, or a teacher or a guru or, or someone who just wants to be on camera. It's just not for everyone, right? People might be worried about the way they look or they sound or... They're just not, they just lack the confidence. They don't, maybe they've got a career and they don't want to kind of show their name when they have a separate career uh, or they don't want to know, you know, they don't want their friends or family seeing it or for whatever reason it is. Probably 90% of people who think about this kind of thing, they don't want to be on camera. Um, so this model is absolutely ideal for them. That's why it's so popular and that's why, and there's so much room for it to grow. It's not, it's not really saturated. There's so, so much out there. It's, it's kind of infinite possibilities. And also YouTube is not actually going anywhere. It's, it's going to be around for, for a very, very long time. Um, and you can actually just reap the benefits of YouTube's vast audience. And all you have to do is follow a step-by-step -step system. And you can be the person in the background. You can outsource it all. You don't have to do it all yourself. Um, you, can, you can get other people to do it and just run it like a business. Or you can just do it yourself, you know, as a hobby. Or you can do it yourself until you're ready to outsource it. So you've probably seen a faceless YouTube video before. Um, have you ever come across a YouTube video without a visible presenter? I'm sure you have. There's so many of them. There's millions of them uh, online and there's more being uploaded every day. Um, but yet you found it engaging. Yet you've, you've, you've watched it all the way through for some reason, whatever it is. Like it could have been 
you know, a, uh, you know, motivational um, video, it could have been something where you're listening to something calm, or you are just watching something that's informational, and they've got kind of stock footage on there, and they're, they're, someone's talking over it, just to teach you something or inform you about something, and maybe there's a little documentary or something. Um, that's YouTube automation. So anything that doesn't include someone being on camera talking like I am, that's YouTube automation. So what these videos do is they leverage, they use voiceovers. So you don't have to be the one talking. Um, other people can talk. Um, I wouldn't actually recommend using AI voices for this, um, just to jump in there because um, that's a, something I'll cover later in the course. I wouldn't recommend doing that because, um, you know, it, it's not, YouTube wants human humans to talk. Otherwise it, it, you may get demonetized. You might not be able to, um, you may not be able to actually make money from YouTube if you use AI. So anyway, this is about voiceover. So you could you could be the one talking or you could hire someone else to do it. Um, you can use stock footage. So stock footage is those videos that are made by other companies, but you're able to, to license them and use them. You can use royalty free music. You can use music that you've licensed um, and you create a video without being on it. Um, and you can, you know, discover other creative elements to deliver content. There's loads of different ways actually you can actually deliver content. As long as people open and watch the video, that's all that really matters. Um, so the key here is producing really good content without needing a physical presence on camera. So I'm going to, if you don't have any ideas yet, uh, that's completely fine. Uh, but I'm going to give you a ton of ideas. Um, but you don't, if, if there's anything that doesn't require physical presence on camera, that's a YouTube automation. So this approach it opens doors to a world where content is king, right? And presentation slides uh, styles are diverse and innovative. So everyone's got their own point of view. Everyone's got their own way of thinking. It's very creative. So you can you can be in the same niche as someone and create something completely different. That's the thing, um, and that's this is why it's so open um, compared to when you're, you know, a YouTuber on camera talking about a topic. You're kind of you're kind of in a box a little bit, whereas here you can pretty much do anything. If you want to show a massive explosion or waterfall or come up with an effect, you can do that without having to be the person on camera. So what are the benefits of this business model? What are the, the benefits of having a faceless YouTube channel? One, you can remain completely anonymous, as I do, right? So you can be, it is perfect for those who value privacy or people who are camera shy, you might not want to be on camera. I don't mind being on camera because I've got online courses and I teach people how to start businesses and so on. But um, some people don't, right? So some people want to stay in the background and it's just perfect for those who just want to be private. Um, it's got low, lower startup costs than normal businesses. Um, you don't have to have, you know, the, the, the newest camera to do this. Like if you want to be a YouTuber, you've got to get a microphone, a camera, you've got to um, get editors and, you know, that you might want to do certain things with your with your camera effects. Um, you might need elaborate setups, you know, you might need to set up somewhere in the real world and you might live somewhere where you can't do that, your house or your area, you might not be able to do that, right? So it's got low startup costs as well. You don't, and compared to other business, mo business models as well, this has got very low startup costs compared to those. Flexibility. So you can start a channel and you can create content on a wide range of topics without being typecast. So if you're a YouTuber, if you're an actual person on camera, you can just get typecast. So say you were making, um, say you were making like cooking videos. You could just be typecast as a cooking video person. So this is the the cooking channel thing. Now that person couldn't necessarily go out there and and start something new. They couldn't just start something else because they'll be like, well, this person just focuses on cooking. So how can they teach me this? So how can they do that? You can create content on, on a lot of stuff without necessarily being typecast or put in a box. Uh, you've got a global reach, right? So you can actually resonate with audiences worldwide. You you, you know, because if you're an actual YouTuber, you can um, only appeal to certain types of people. But here you're opening that out and you can appeal to people all over the world because some people might not resonate with you. Right. So if you're British or you live in a certain country or you're American or whatever, or you're, you're a certain type of person. Some people might not resonate with you because of you or your personality. But here you can pretty much, you know, create your own little Netflix and, and, and create programming um, and videos that people watch, uh, everyone watches, and you don't have to live in a certain place. So let's now understand the YouTube ecosystem. So YouTube has a vast platform, it's massive, right? And it offers so many different opportunities for content creators. And just to put this in perspective, it's not just about 
the number of views a video gets. It's not just that how many people watch it. So you might see videos if you do some research that get a ton of views, but what it's really about is about engagement. It's about people watching it and enjoying it. You've got to make people enjoy what you're watching. I hope this video is enjoyable, right? So I hope this gets good watch time. And obviously I'm teaching a lot here, so I'm not really asking for anything. So I'm sure this will get good watch time. So the content quality is key. Um, you've got to have quality. It can't just be thrown together. You can't just put a bunch of garbage there because people just switch off. YouTube optimizes for humans, not a computer, right? It, it knows what people like. You have to help people. You have to give off a value in this world to make money, right? And this is just like any other business like that. So what we're going to do is also show you, like, like I just said, they optimize for humans, but it's about the YouTube algorithm. You have to kind of know how the algorithm works so you can actually create videos that get exposure and views, right? So we're going to explore how the YouTube algorithm favors content that engages and retains viewers. So this is what's going to come in the course in the forthcoming modules. So I'm going to actually go through these things in full detail uh, in, the, in the rest of the course. So I'm going to talk about now the role of creativity and strategy in YouTube automation. So creativity isn't just about what you create. It's about how you present it. So it's not just about you. Uh, and what you're doing. It's about how you're presenting it, how you're showing it to that audience. So you've got to be very strategic with this. You've got to follow a system. Um, you've got to follow trends, look at them, analyze them, and you've got to understand your audience. You've got to know who you're targeting because if you're, if you're showing someone something, but you're kind of talking about it in a certain way that appeals to someone with it, with you think your audience wants this certain goal or they want to learn this or watch this, but your audience is someone completely different, you're not going to resonate with them. So you need to understand your audience, just like any other business, just like literally any other business. You need to understand who you're targeting, who's watching this. And you'll also learn this as you go on, as you create videos, you'll actually get to understand this. So we're going to delve into how to identify niches and content styles that actually resonate with viewers. So I'm going to show you tools like what do you actually need to start this business? I'm going to show you essential tools and resources for YouTube automation. There's things that you need to get started with this business. I'm going to show you exactly what to use for the lowest possible costs. Um, so I'm going to show you different various tools and resources that make this kind of content creation very easy. Even if you're not technical, even if you're from different backgrounds, it's going to help make these things really seamless. Um, and I'm going to show you video editing software. I'm going to show you how to get stock footage or other footage and music. And I've got it all covered in this course. Um, and these tools are user friendly. So it's not like these are like complex tech things. You need a background in coding or anything. Like there's a reason why 14 year olds are on YouTube and older people are on YouTube. It's because they're user friendly. Everyone can use them. It's, they're made for that. Um, and importantly, many of them are free. So I'm going to recommend free, um, tools that you can use and you can you know, watch the later modules for that as well. Just make sure that you subscribe and, and, um, and, and check out the playlist because there's going to be literally going to be a full course now. I'm going to teach you all of this stuff and they're going to be cost effective as well. So even if they do cost something, I would show you the lowest possible price for those things. I'm going to show you monetization. This is where it gets interesting, right? This is where you need to make money. How can you make money from this? Because you're thinking, I bet there's, there's people watching this course thinking, okay, you can make YouTube videos, but how do you actually make money from YouTube videos? Like, how does that even done? Some people know that some people don't, but there's so many different ways to make money from YouTube videos. Um, there's various avenues. There's actually multiple streams of income. If you actually plan this out, there's multiple streams of income you can get from this. Um, everything from AdSense, which is a huge part to affiliate marketing, where, where you actually promote other products online for a commission um, without having to create anything or deal with any customers or stock or inventory or employees or anything. You can just promote products and get paid for it. Commission for online sales. Uh, sponsorships, so advertising, the potential is huge here. And there's also other things in here that I'm really big on courses and information products and coaching and things. And that's what I really teach in the online business school. And, you know, you can really do that as well. Um, and the potential is huge, right? So we're going to discuss how to strategically position your channel for the maximum revenue generation, because, you know, ideally we have all these multiple things open to us. So you can pick a channel that has all these things that you can eventually do with it. If you don't, that's fine. If you want to take two income streams over all of them, that's fine as well. Uh, but you know, I'll show you how to create a channel that has everything around it. We're going to set realistic expectations. I'm not going to promise you the earth overnight. I'm not going to say you're going to become a millionaire from your first channel. Like that's stupid. Um, I'm going to be realistic here. Like I'm, I'm doing here. I'm just being open and honest with you. 
I'm going to set realistic expectations. I'm going to show you because you will come across challenges just like any other business. You're going to understand, you're going to come across things that get in your way. There's going to be problems that you're going to face and you're going to have to get over. And I'm going to under, you're going to understand that growth on YouTube, it's actually a marathon. It's not a sprint. You're not going to be, you're not going to be um, monetized and, you know, getting videos like in the next couple of weeks. It's not, not like that. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. You have to be, you have to be open to this and committed to it. Just like anything, you know what? People who aren't committed to anything, they just don't get anywhere, right? We're going to discuss common challenges that have overcome hurdles uh, and how to navigate them effectively. So we're going to set realistic goals as well. We're going to set goals for you and being consistent. And it's the key to long-term success. You've got to think about it. So only carry on with this if you're ready to be consistent. Learn this and go, you know what? I'm going to dedicate some time to this. I'm going to do it and it's going to work, but I'm going to just keep going. Just like anything else that is of value, you have to do that. So congratulations on completing the first module. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and, you know, we, we're, we're on our way, right, to, to mastering YouTube automation. So remember, this is a full step-by-step -step course. I'm not going to leave anything out here. And I'm not, this isn't, like, there's no strings attached here. Um, so watch the next video to learn how to choose the right niche for your channel. We're going to talk about how to get ideas. I'm going to show you examples of, uh, of YouTube automation channels uh, that do this without faceless YouTube channels. Because you need to visualize it, you need to actually see these things and how much money they're making and, and so on. Uh, and it's going to be on the screen in a sec, the next video, uh, so to keep an eye out. And remember, this journey is about learning, experimenting and evolving as a content creator. Uh, if you if you try and study uh, YouTube, if you read the book, The YouTube Formula, um, or you you watch anything by Mr. Beast and you know, you know people who've succeeded on YouTube, it's about creating something, analyzing the results and then just iterating it, which is making it better making it better, like figuring out what's wrong, making it better. That's you're going to evolve as a content creator. You, you make the, the idea you have as a content creator now, a face, you know, faceless content creator, I might add, uh, may not be what you end up being because you're going to evolve. You're going to get better and better and improve your skills. And then you'll figure out what, how to optimize and your path to success on YouTube starts right now. So this is where it gets started. Uh, this is a complete course on YouTube automation, but Keep in mind, I wanted to add this. This isn't my main business. So this is a, a, a kind of a side um, income stream for me. Um, and what I do is I have a whole separate model, um, which involves a lot of building an information product business. That is a very, very lucrative model online. And if you're really serious about starting a real online business, making money online for the next 10 years, and more like for the rest of your life enroll in the online business school so that's my my website that's my company uh, and discover my own secrets so if you go to the online business school.org you're going to uh, see what i have to offer there and you can get started with a free trial so you can check it out yourself so remember this is a standalone course this youtube automation course is completely standalone the online business school is something different uh, building an online business in a different completely different way so you can still continue with this course but check it out. Uh, you can get started with a free trial. Uh, not going to get charged anything. You can kick the tires, see what it is. If you don't like it, you can cancel. Um, so remember this YouTube channel, I'm going to give away for free what other people charge for. You can search online. There is so much garbage out there about YouTube automation and faceless YouTube channels. Um, and just generally with online marketing, there's people offer little bits of things. They don't actually give you the full answer. They like give you a bit and then just say, okay, buy my course. That's not how this necessarily works. That's not how to deliver value um, in business, right? So I'm gonna give away for free what other charges charge for. So just make sure you subscribe because you're gonna miss out on a ton of value, literally thousands of dollars of value uh, if you don't. Uh, so make sure that you don't miss out on all my free courses. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed that first module and I'll talk to you in a bit.